Hey guys, Fox here, and today we're going to be looking at the Logitech Z333 speakers. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into this. Alright, so this is a very nice and clean 2.1 sort of system that you can buy for only £40 actually. I was quite surprised at the price tag because they just look really good. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the main reason that I picked these speakers, plainly because they just really do look nice. But after playing around with them for a while, I've realised that they actually are really nice sound quality as well. Now, the reason I got these is because I wanted an upgrade from my current speakers and uh, I just thought that I could maybe spruce up a bit with a subwoofer, which is why I bought this as well. I really wanted a subwoofer for my setup just because I thought it looked really cool and it would sound awesome. Now, this speaker set is really cool because it actually comes with two like normal speakers, a subwoofer and then a little dial thing that you can use to adjust the volume. Now, at the back of the subwoofer, it does have like a bass control as well. So if you feel like you want to be a bit bassy and listen to some really hardcore beats, then you can do that. And if you feel like being a treble kid, then uh, yeah, you can just turn all that all the way down and you'll be good to go. Now this is just one of the many good things about these speakers is how you can customize the bass and things really easily with virtually no hassle whatsoever. You just literally reach down, twist the little knob thing and you're good. And that's really nice. It's simplistic, it's a minimalist design, you know, it's nothing too big to in your face, you know, it's clean and black. Although the build quality is plastic, it is a very, very solid build. It doesn't feel like it's going to break on you, honestly. They feel nice and solid, they feel like they're going to last. Now what I've noticed is the highs are very, very good on these speakers. The mids are like, they're okay, they're, they're not bad at all, they're better than the last ones that I had. Um, but they're just not as good as headphone quality, but they are very, very nice. And of course, the bass is the bass, and the bass is awesome. And the lows are also very good due to the awesome subwoofer and just the, yeah, the really, really nice, crisp sound. Do not be confused with the size of these speakers. These speakers can get very loud. Like, I'm not even kidding. If you have, like, you could literally host a party with these because they're so loud. Like, honestly, if you just want them for home use, like, you're not even going to need to go past the halfway mark on the volume. Like, trust me, these speakers can get really loud really fast. And, uh, yeah, my mum and dad have already been complaining that there's, you can feel the floor shaking as I'm playing music, so that's a good sign. One thing I really do enjoy about these speakers is it's nice and modern design. Now, as you can tell, I'm kind of someone who really wants things to look modern and nice. And these speakers definitely fit the bill. They just have a nice, clean, elegant design, which just really, like works off and it's also they're not right in your face you're not going to walk into the room and suddenly flashing lights in your face and you're having an epileptic seizure like these speakers are nice and subtle but they're very modern and very nice plus the subwoofer is an awesome footrest not to mention that the way they're built they're on a slight angle so they're a little bit higher up like that so it kind of just goes into your ears a bit better it's more i don't know how to explain it but it just it's just nicer when you've got instead of speakers going that way and speakers going that way it kind of just enters your ears a little bit better and i think that's a really nice touch and i really do enjoy it the only thing i do not like about these speakers pretty much is the wire length i'm not having issues trying to get my wires to like go all the way down into my subwoofer so like people who have quite wide desks my desk quite wide so I kind of struggle to get all the wires like working and I'm sure it'd be fine but the cable management would have to be awful for me to pull it off properly so kind of what I've done is I've used like um, a velcro strap trying to get it all a little bit nicer but I've had to do sort of a DIY job with the wire for that one because it is just um, it's just a bit short that's the thing if you want to listen to a sample here you go, and yeah, I'm just going to show you some samples of audio. So as you can see, the speakers can be very, very bassy if you want them to be, but that was only on medium settings. That was only halfway up in the uh, subwoofer thing. So if you do want to add more bass, you can easily do that, but I think medium settings is just enough, unless you want to like make your house fall down with so much bass, because it'll be shaking like mad. But anyway guys, as usual, there will be links in the description to where you can go ahead and buy these speakers. And uh, yeah guys, if you did enjoy this review, make sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it. And uh, yeah guys, I'm It's Fox signing out and I'll see you all later.